Joining me now is Dr. Janet Meemark, the director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Thank you so much, Dr. Meemark, for joining me this week for our special COVID weekly update show. Thank you. Appreciate being here. So a lot of things have uh, transpired in results of uh, uh, COVID-19, the coronavirus, and the impact on our daily lives. Uh, I want to get right to it. Can you share with us, please, the latest numbers for Douglas County itself? Yeah, so currently in Douglas County, we have 439 confirmed cases of COVID-19, with um, 110 of those have been hospitalized at some point, and we have 18 that have unfortunately lost their lives to COVID-19. Okay. How is the COVID-19 testing going at Hunter Park, specifically in Douglasville? So it's going really well. So we thank everybody for coming out and it's been very smooth out there. Um, they've tested over 1600 people out in the Hunter Park location and um, it, it's been going really well. Now it, it, I'm going to I'm going to fess up that we were having some delays in getting the test results because of the governor's declaration having everybody get tested. And so mm -hmm. um, right now the the state of um, Georgia and public health, they're rearranging the labs a little bit so that we can try to get some faster results. So they should speed up soon. Gotcha. How many tests have been positive? Have, you know, of the recipients getting tested at Hunter Park, how many have been positive? So, so far we've had just under 4% are positive at Hunter Park. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I understand, you know, like you just mentioned, regardless of symptoms like before, anyone can get tested. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, so, you know, including the symptoms that we've discussed before, so having fevers, chills, shortness of breath, or having a cough, or, or muscle aches, or headaches, sore throats, um, or having a loss of taste or smell, those are the symptoms that we know of, right? Um, yeah. Anybody in Georgia can get tested right now, and so um, if you need a test, you want a test, you just want to know, you can come out and get tested. Now, What's very important I wanted everybody to know about that, though, is what we're finding and what studies are showing right now is that, yes, we all know that if you have symptoms and if you're coughing or something like that, that you're definitely contagious. But some studies are showing that that asymptomatic spread, remember what we talked about before, not having symptoms? Yes and right before symptoms develop, or if you don't have them at all, the, the time right before symptoms develop or in the early mild symptoms when they first start, they're finding that you're probably most contagious at that time. And so, uh, you know, I wanted to, we'll talk about it soon, but remind people that we still have, a, you know, COVID-19 that we're fighting, and it's also a very silent disease at times and just is spreading without us even knowing. Wow, I really appreciate you sharing that. You know, it, so often as, you know, per the the governor's orders um, about opening up, mm -hmm. you know, we're now transitioning into somewhat getting back to normal, but not really normal. I mean, everyone's calling it the new normal. Can mm -hmm. you give us some advice on how to get back into the normal life, for example, going to work, going shopping, et cetera? Can you yeah. give us some details on the best advice? So thanks so much for asking that. So Douglas County has done such a great job about sheltering in place and social distancing. And one of the things that I'm noticing, though, as we go back and in general, is that um, there seems to be this false sense of security with people. And I, and I notice that in some places that people just don't wear their masks or going out in public. And and so, you know, I really caution against that. And, and you know, not only protecting yourself, but protecting other people as well. When we go back, we have to remember it's still there. So, you know, I wanted everybody to know that you're safest outside, first of all. So we're, it's, um, there aren't a lot of reports of outbreaks that are happening outside, right? But what it's the same story that's being told over and over again. It is people that are in larger gatherings or around each other a lot without wearing any protective um, uh, mask. Um, you have to keep washing your hands and you got to be able to stay away from each other. We can still be around each other, but just not really close and, and hopefully 
more outside or something like that. But we have to keep wearing our masks, keep washing our hands and stay further away. And one of the things I just really wanted people to know to be careful of is the large gatherings. We're just, we're not there yet. So that's where a lot of these um, outbreaks have come from is funerals and churches and, you know, parties. Uh, we just had one recently at, at a barbecue. And so, you know, just, just being really cautious about that and knowing that we still have a problem and let's have fun and get back to life, but do it as safe as we possibly can. Wow. So I want to repeat some of what I heard just to make sure our viewers understand specifically some of the advice that you're getting, that you're sharing with us. Essentially avoid large gatherings. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not only, not only avoiding large and mass gatherings, but something that is really dear to, to my heart. Not enough people are wearing masks that mm -hmm. I see when I go out yeah. for essential reasons. Mm -hmm. But wearing masks, even when I, for example, when I go and I take a walk with mm -hmm. my family, I wear my mask. Yeah. Because yeah. when people are walking past me, they're still close, less yeah. than six feet away from me. So mm -hmm. it's important to even wear your mask when you're outside, is that correct? Yeah, there is less of a risk if you're outside and hopefully you can be social distancing more, but if you can't, you definitely can't social distance away from each other, then I would advise wearing that mask if you can't do that. But definitely inside because it can stay aerosolized for a little while, you definitely want to to protect yourself inside for sure. But outside, try to, you know, when we go to different places, we try to stay pretty far away from each other so we don't Aren't we aren't in each other's particles. Gotcha, gotcha. And of course, social distancing, washing of the hands and wearing a mask are the most essential things of advice that you're sharing. Yeah, and one more piece of information, as we all go back to work, some of us have um, not been going back to the tradi traditional offices and stuff, but some of us are gonna be going back, right? And so I want people to remember to definitely stay home when you are sick. Make sure that your temperature is being checked and you're checking for those symptoms, right? Every day when you go to work. But what's also really important is, you know, people, we are used to working when we're sick. And I think it's just part of American culture. But, you know, the federal government has put in place a lot of different new leave policies for people. And I want people to just make sure you, you, will most likely have that available to you. So check into that at your workplace. So, you know, and, and really ask yourself, you know, I got a little cough, you know, it's new, should I be coming? Because once it, it, it comes out, we could be wiping out entire industries. So we, we really need to be cautious about that and double check your, your work leave policy because there's new policies that are in place. Got you. Wow. Great advice. Great advice. Dr. Meemark, is there anything else you would like to share with our viewers that you feel is just as important? No, I think I covered everything. I just want everybody to be safe and thank you so much. And I know that Madam Chair, um, um, Dr. Jackson Jones has been doing just a great job. We spoke last night and she's just slowly opening. She's not doing the, you know, just rip off the Band-Aid and, and that so appreciated and and it's really doing a lot to protect people so i just want to make sure everybody knew that absolutely and i think it was you know that's a critical point as a matter of fact um just as businesses are coming up and opening up so is the douglas county courthouse we have feverishly been working throughout the week uh in regards to um, signage posting signage just at yesterday's board of commissioners meeting we discussed and unveiled the details of a signed order with mm -hmm. all the particulars, the spacing, social distancing, spacing mm -hmm. uh, inside the courtrooms, as well as offering um, hand sanitizer dispensers in public areas as okay. well. So we're doing the best we can to help. You're the public. doing great. A lot of planning. Very good. <laughs> Dr. Me, Mark, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing yourself to be available with your busy schedule and busy day. Thank you for being with us here at DCTV 23. Thank you all. Y'all stay safe, okay? Will do. Thank you.